and welcome to BBC's Talk for today. Um, today I want to share with you a few verses and what I want to talk to you about is the very lovely subject of love. And I know it's not Valentine's Day and I know it's um, an, probably a little bit of an odd topic maybe to talk about. But what I've been really thinking about lately is the fact of living in this time of a pandemic, living in this time when the whole world feels like it's upside down and we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I just get such a sense of, well, for me, honestly, concern and worry is not really a, a feeling because I know God is in control and I know he's taking care of us. But it, I know for a lot of people, stress and anxiety and pressure and financial trouble, people are really scared and um, there's a lot of emotions going on and in a time like this it's really easy to forget how to love it's really easy to forget how to treat people around you because we can get quite consumed with those feelings and we can't we don't know what to do with them and often they just come out and manifest in more negative ways than positive and so remembering that even in a time like this to show love towards one another, to show love to those who we're surrounded with every day, whether it's in our work, whether it's at home, and um, whether it's in our schools, um, in your marriages, which is so important, which is probably quite a stressful time at the minute for a lot of couples. But continuing despite everything going on, despite the turmoil, what can feel like being in the middle of a thunderstorm or a tornado, to stop for a moment and just look at the people around you and consider today how how do I love people around me today because at the end of the day if everything was stripped away and all you were left with was the people around you we have to learn and we have to know how to take care of each other and so I want to share with you a few verses from scripture about love and I'm not going to get into it in too great a detail because the scriptures talk about love in many different forms because God's love is um, it's I won't say it's easy to understand. It's actually quite complex because he's complex in some ways. Um, but he has given us this great book and the word of God and the Bible. So I hope you're reading it um, to show us how and to give us an understanding of how he understands love. And the first verse I want to share with you is from First John chapter four. Dear friends, in verse 7, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world, that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. And we often ask ourselves, how do I love in times like this? How do I love those around me when I'm feeling certain ways, when I'm struggling? But to be honest, unless you can really surrender and give your life to God and really call on him right now and ask him for that strength, ask him for that love, it's going to be very difficult because love stems from him. And I watched a documentary recently about the sun and I'd never looked at the sun. Obviously, you do every day. You feel it. You feel the heat, but you can't touch it. No one can go near it. It's so powerful. It's so um, magnificent in, in, in the work that it does in keeping us and sustaining us. And God created that sun to keep us alive. And in the same way, I feel that God radiates love. He is love. He embodies love. He has allowed us through his son, Jesus, that we can actually be in his presence. We can experience that love. We can touch it. Unlike the sun, we can't go near it, but we can feel its radiation. But with God, we can be near it. He's present with us through his Holy Spirit. He's with us. And when you're struggling to love somebody, when you're struggling to get out of your own head and get out of those feelings, and we often try to do it with our own human wisdom or our own human effort, but really without knowing and having a relationship with God, 
it's going to be really tough for you to do that. And I remember being in school when I was a kid and I was bullied for a few years and times were really difficult and emotionally I was feeling sad and depressed and you you go through all those things as a as a young kid. But I had a relationship with Jesus. I had the Holy Spirit with me and I had the word of God. And um, yes, I should have reported it. And yes, I should have done all the things that nowadays they tell you to do. But back then, I really just trusted the Lord immensely in a very deep way. And I was able to look at scripture and learn, how do I get through this? Where do I find my strength? Where do I, what do I do with this when people are behaving like this towards me? And God always just reminded me to love, to care, and to know what that meant and to know what that looked like. And it was really just an incredible thing. And I used to go to school and people would say negative things. And God would often uh, just remind me through his Holy Spirit to just be kind, just show love. This is not going to be like this forever. Just hang in there. And I remember one guy who used to pick on me asked for a pencil one day in class and he just shouted it out. I even got a pencil. And I turned around and said, here you go. And my friend looked at me as if like, what are you doing? Like, he's mean to you all the time. Why are you showing love to him? A, a few months later, when um, the main guy who would pick on me left school, I ended up becoming really good friends with that guy. And I ended up becoming really good friends with all of them. And I spent the last two or three years in school having a really great time. And I know a lot of you have gone through similar stories and have similar situations, but God really showed me at that time to show kindness, to love your enemy. And there was no way I could have done that without having the Holy Spirit, without understanding scripture, without having that deep connection with, with God, without understanding that Jesus sacrificed his life for me. And even though life gives us troubles and gives us things we have to face, we still have a responsibility to love and to care for those around us. And Jesus said in Matthew, out of all of the commandments and all of the instructions, in Matthew 22, he told the people that the greatest commandments is to love God and love people. Out of all, everything, out of all the instructions in scripture that God gave us, he said to love people is the greatest commandment. And it is an honor and it is a privilege to be able to love people. And it is the hardest thing in the world. If you jump to 1 Corinthians, and I'm going to leave you with this because I'd love if people would pick up their Bibles and read this for themselves. And in this passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 and 5, and you'll recognize it because it's read at practically every wedding I've probably been to. And I often think, why did I keep repeating the same thing over and over again? Because the interesting thing about love is that it's an intentional act. And sometimes it's sacrificial and sometimes it's it's never emotional. I think that's what people get mixed up with. It's not your movie type of love. It's not your um, hairy fairy love that flees, just fleets away in the wind. It's a real intentional act that you have to choose to do every day. And I've talked to a lot of married couples and I have a lot of friends who are married and I love to sit with them. I love to talk with them. I love to dig in and ask questions and find out what keeps two people who are so different together. What is it that actually keeps them going? And they say it's hard work. They say relationships are really hard work. And this is my um, <laughs> hard work. So, uh, yes, this is what I live with. So my apologies for my friend here. Um, but it is. Love is hard work. Love is intentional. And in 1 Corinthians, and I'll leave you with this, chapter 13, verse 4 and 5, it says that love is patient Love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment, but I'd really like you to go on and read the rest. Um, but read those passages because in 1 Corinthians, we talk about what love is, but really it's an intentional act to be love, to be loving, to be kind, to be patient, to be self-controlled. And I guess the question I want to leave you with today in conclusion is through all of this and through this pandemic, how do you show love towards others? 
because I have to love this little pet, but I have to be very intentional to be kind and to be patient and to be self-controlling. And you have to make that a choice in your everyday life. And that's really, really important. So today, wherever you are, I guess I want to ask you in your relationships with your spouses, with your children, with your work colleagues, with those around you, are you being kind? Are you being caring? Are you being intentional with your actions? Are you paying attention to how they're feeling? Or are you just reacting and acting out of anxiety and pressure and stress? Because in this day and age with everything going on, you have to take a step back. You have to take a moment and you have to decide today I need to really pay attention. I need to be intentional with how I act and I need to be showing love to those around me. That takes work. It takes effort. But to do it well, you really got to trust God. You got to ask him for his help. You got to seek God. You got to seek the Lord. You got to seek the help from the Holy Spirit that comes through relationship with Christ. And I want to leave you with that today. And I really hope that you will pick up your Bibles, that you would look at those verses and you will get a deeper understanding of what love really is and how to manifest it in your own life. Have a good day and I'll talk to you soon.